Supersonic and subsonic nozzles, a more elegant approach, streamlining the confusing math. As I was saying, oh, hello, Albert. Hello, Iki. I see that you are busy with some students. No problem, you can stay. So glad to meet you, sir. Likewise, Iggy, I watched your recent video. I want to show you a more elegant way, staying in differential form. Okay, share your screen. We are talking about a variable area duct. It is a compressible gas. Steady, asyntropic, and adiabatic. And we consider an infinitesimal fluid element. Here it is. The top and bottom are streamlines. Conservation of mass. D rho V A equals zero. We use the product rule. Dividing by rho V A gives us equation two. D A over A plus D V over V plus D rho over rho equals zero. Now we apply the first law. We have heat and work coming in. We have total energy flowing through. Here is the differential equation. But this term is zero. And the only non-zero rate of work is rate of pressure work. Then we rearrange, we get this equation. We use the product rule and equation one to simplify. We get equation three. We expand E into internal, kinetic, and potential energies. Thus we get this, but potential energy is negligible for a gas. And these two terms are the specific enthalpy. So we get this, which can be written as equation 4. The H is negative V times dV. Now we apply one of the TDS equations. But this is isentropic. And we apply equation 4. We get dP over rho equal negative V dV. Equation 5. Now apply equation 2. Multiply and divide by V so that this and this can be combined to get this equation. Multiply and divide by dP so we get equation 6. Here it is again. We define the speed of sound as this. But these two terms are the same since it is isentropic. So equation 6 becomes this. But this is the Mach number squared. So finally we get equation 7. What can we conclude? For subsonic flow, this term is negative, so speed increases when A decreases. For supersonic flow, this term is positive, so V increases when A increases. Thus, a subsonic nozzle is a converging duct, and a supersonic nozzle is a diverging duct. In both cases, speed and Mach number go up. That is why a subsonic fire hose nozzle is converging, but a supersonic rocket nozzle is diverging. In both cases, the flow is accelerated. What do you think? Your way is better. It was like a Rube Goldberg solution. Yeah, students aren't allowed to call me by my first name, especially my nickname. Uh, sorry, Professor Skeptic. Yeah, thank you, Albert. I should have thought of that the first time. It is good that I could help. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, I have to go now. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational videos.